Okay, now for um, C, 12 October 2017, um, IAL, International A-Level, question number one, about straight line graphs. Okay, pretty simple question. Um, I was requested to answer this question by someone, so we'll go through it. Basics, this is one of the, this is, most of this stuff is from IG um, work, right? Anyway. GCSE standard. The line L1 has equation 8x plus 2y minus 15 equals 0. Find the gradient of line 1. Well, that's pretty simple. We have to basically rearrange it so it's in the form y equals mx plus c. If we make y the subject, then the coefficient of x will be the gradient. m is a gradient. Okay? So that's what we have to do in order to find the gradient of this line. Okay? So we've got to make this y the subject of the formula. So you start off with 8x plus 2y minus 15 equals 0. So first of all, I will keep the 2y on this side. I will subtract 8x and add 15 to both sides. So I have my, minus 8x plus 15. So 2y equals minus 8x plus 15. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. Now, I'm not going to divide by 2 like one fraction. I'll divide them as separate fraction so it'll be minus 8 x over 2 plus 15 over 2 so y is going to be minus 4x plus 15 over 2 which is sort of 7.5 we can leave it as we wish basically the gradient is going to be negative 4 so we can say the gradient therefore just to make it clear therefore the gradient my handwriting is going to put there. Let's put my hand in a more comfortable position. Okay, therefore the gradient of line 1 is equal to negative 4. Okay, that's part A done. Now we're going to move on to part B. It says a line L2 is parallel to line L1 and passes through the point minus 3 quarter 16 find the equation of line 2 in the form y equals mx plus c where m and c are constants so that's pretty simple to find the equation of a straight line we need two things one thing we need the gradient okay we need the gradient of the line which so you can say here m is equal to negative 4 we found that in part a because it's parallel to the line okay when two lines are parallel they have the same gradient okay so if line 2 is parallel to line 1 the, the, the gradient of line 2 is also negative 4 and the second thing we need is a point, any point on the line. So we've got minus 3 quarters and we've got 16. Okay. Now, in order to find the equation of the line, we can just use this. So there's two, two different methods that we can use. Okay, two different ways that you can use to find the equation of a line. And uh, I like to use some of them, one of them in one particular case and another one in another particular case. But most people, they we'll stick to one or the other so let's start off with what most people are familiar with y equals mx plus c so we know that m is minus 4 and, and uh, you know the, the point of the line is minus 3 quarters and 16 so our, our aim is here to find c this is like your x and this is like your y so you're going to put 16 replace the y by the y coordinate of the point we have equals m which is minus 4 times x which is the x coordinate which is minus 3 over 4 plus c so the only unknown now is C, so we can find it. Now that this cancels with the 4, so you've got 16, and you've got minus, minus 3, which is plus 3. So C is going to equal 13. 16 minus 3, which is 13. So once you know what C is, you can say Y equals minus 4X plus 13. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to use the formula Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1 where x1 and y1 are the point that we know. In this case, x1 and y1 will be minus 3 quarters and 16. Okay, so y minus y1, y minus 16, is equal to m, which is negative 4, gradient, times x minus x1, which is minus 3 quarters, x minus minus 3 quarters. Okay, so you're left with y minus 16, equals minus 4x plus, now minus 4 times, uh, well, actually it's going to be minus, isn't it? Okay, you're going to have minus 4x, you're going to have, this is going to give you a positive 3 quarters, right? So minus 4 times plus 3 quarters 
is going to give you minus 3. Okay, so we want to uh, make y the subject. So y is equal to minus 4x minus 3 plus 16. So you're left with y equals negative 4x and plus 13. Of course, that's the same answer, whichever way you prefer. Okay, this one seemed like a few less steps in this particular case. I generally like to use this when the gradient is a fraction. Um, so I like to use this method when the gradient is a fraction. And I like to use this method when the gradient is, is a whole number. But either of them, you can use them whenever you feel like it, and it will be fine. Okay, there's no problem if you fill one over the other. Okay, so that's question number one. Finished. Okay, finding the gradient and then find the equation of the line. Remember, two things you need to find the equation of the line is the gradient of the line and any point on the line. Okay? All right, thank you for watching.